Hey everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Games Update, where we bring you all of the latest and greatest in Star Wars gaming news. For today, we're gonna have a rather quick and short video on a topic that I'd very much like to cover, but if you've ever heard of the fabled, cancelled Battlefront 2 game that was in production once upon a time, then odds are you'll have had a doubt know about Free Radical Design. It's Doom and now it's Surprise Comeback. And before we get into any of that, a quick reminder that if you do like these type of videos then be sure to give it a like to show your support for this update series and the content within it. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Starting things off, we're going to open up with some quick Star Wars mobile news, and that is the reveal of Season 7's Ahsoka Tano to Galaxy of Heroes. This version of Ahsoka will be known as Commander Ahsoka, a light-sided force user who deals high damage to a single target, and only gets stronger with the fewer allies that she has present. Her basic ability will be Jarkai Master, where she'll deal special damage to a target enemy twice. If another Galactic Republic or Scoundrel ally is present, then Ahsoka gains advantage for three turns. For specials, her first special move is called Xi'an, where Ahsoka and her other Galactic Republic or Scoundrel ally gain Xi'an for four turns, Evasion up for two turns, and Ahsoka swaps turn meter with them and calls them to assist in dealing 20% more damage. It should be noted that Xi'an form can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented. Finally, her second special is Force Leap, where when it's first used in a battle, then it instantly defeats a target enemy, and each light side ally gains 35% turn meter. And after that, it's still gonna be a force to be reckoned with with critical damage for up to 3 turns. Alright, so let's get to the main highlight story of this video and that is the surprise return of Free Radical Design. Company Deep Silver announced this week on Twitter that Free Radical Design would be returning from the dead. Reformed as a subsidiary of Deep Silver with the intent of bringing the much-loved Time Splitters IP back to life, which the studio was well best known for. Along with this, many of the original Free Radical Design members are returning to the studio as well, especially those who, yeah, you guessed it, worked on Battlefront 3. And for those who don't know, Free Radical Design was the studio who worked on the original Battlefront 3 and were basically nearing the final stage with that game. Which based on everything we've seen or knew from the alpha version was a huge step up from Pandemic's Battlefront 2. In total, Free Radical Design worked on Battlefront 3 from 2006 to 2008. But due to missed deadlines and other troubles from behind the scenes, the project was unfortunately canned by LucasArts when it was supposedly 99% complete, with all their money spent on Battlefront 3 and nothing to really show for it. Free Radical Design was ultimately shut down in 2008 and filed for bankruptcy. Which we all thought that was the end of that studio and we'd never see anything more ever again on the Battlefront 3 they spent 3 years working on. And yet now in 2021, basically out of nowhere, it's back, which is pretty incredible when you think about it. As for whether they'll ever want to do another Star Wars project again, we don't know. As for right now, they're trying to get their foot back into the door by making something they know best, the Time Splitters IP, which is their own original IP. However, with Free Radical bringing back so much of the members who worked on the original fabled Battlefront 3 and still even having the source code for it, then who knows what that may exactly mean for the future. Personally, I don't know about you, but I honestly wouldn't mind if they ported over the apparently finished Battlefront 3 onto the Switch or something like that. As I'm sure we can all agree they would definitely have no problems in selling that. 
But either way, I thought this was a pretty cool new story, as a studio who quite literally was destroyed by Battlefront 3, a Star Wars game, has now from out of nowhere returned from the grave with most of its original members too. Question is, assuming that they've learned from their past mistakes, would they ever want another shot at Star Wars? Especially now that LucasArts no longer exists and it's Lucasfilm Games who's letting almost anyone make a Star Wars game these days. And that will do it for this Star Wars Games update. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share it, and subscribe to the channel to not only support it, but to keep up with Star Wars news, gaming, and canon lore released every week. And consider following me on Twitter and Facebook to never miss out on the latest Star Wars content. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.